If you use a Samsung smartphone and you like customization, you probably heard about Samsung Goodlock. I mean, it's an app that brings a ton of customization features for practically everything in One UI. Now, every year, Goodlock gets updated to support the latest One UI update and bring in some really cool features. Well, Goodlock 2022 is here. It supports One UI 4, but more importantly, it brings a ton of cool new features. If you are a One UI user, you need to watch this video. So let me take it one by one. My favorite Goodlock module has always been Home Up. So Home Up, as you guys know, lets you customize the home screen, home screen folders, but I like it most because of its task changer, aka recent screen options. Yes, the app lets you change the multitasking screen to a grid or a vertical list or a list like this. Anyway, Home Up with the new update is getting a much needed feature. So let's face it, most of us don't like swiping horizontally in the One UI app drawer. Well, this option changes the app drawer style from horizontal to vertical. See this? This is much better, but it's still kind of in early stages. I say that because this priority app section on the top cannot be removed and I don't like this. Also, I can't go back to the home screen with the usual swipe down. I have to use the back gesture. Hopefully this can be fixed because a vertical app drawer option is actually great. The next module I want to talk about is Nice Shot, which lets you customize screen record and screenshot options. And this year it's gotten way better. First of all, there are these new options to make sure the screenshots you take do not get copied in the clipboard. Yeah, handy. And the second option, make sure you don't get cropping suggestions while editing a screenshot. Now, the new option I find more handy is this add delete button. This brings a delete button here to this toolbar when you take a screenshot. This is handy because I take a lot of accidental screenshots, especially with the weird power of combos now. I think you'll relate to it. Now with this, I can just delete any wrong or accidental screenshot quickly. That's all, Nightshot is also bringing some new features for screen recording. First of all, there's an option to automatically turn on do not disturb when taking a screen record so that notifications don't get in the way of your screen records. There are also new selfie video options. So you know how the One UI screen recorder lets you record your face too in this small kind of circle? You can double the size of this in Nightshot. Not just that, if you have a green screen or blue screen, you can make the background of the selfie video transparent. There's also auto detect background color, which did not work for me, but hey, I like these new features. The next module that has gotten a really good update is Theme Park. Now, Theme Park, as the name suggests, is all about theming. And when One UI 4.0 arrived, it brought support for third-party icon packs to the One UI launcher, both from the Galaxy Store as well as the Play Store. Now, with the 2022 update, it lets you change app icons individually. Three-dot menu, change app icons. Now I can select any app and change its icon from the gallery or one of the third-party icon packs. Yeah, super handy. Anyway, it's not just icons. Another new good lock feature is you can also get wallpapers like this with the whole parallax effect. I mean, I'm not a big fan of using my own face as wallpapers, but this is for demo purposes only. So basically, with the Wonderland module, you can just select a portrait mode photo like this one, go to image settings and enable motion effect. You can see the preview here. Now you can set this as your wallpaper and if you want, there's also a new option to add a 3D effect to these photos. Another module that a lot of you guys use is One Hand Operation Plus that lets you totally customize the gestures. You can basically use the sides for not just one back gesture, but more as you can see, and all of this is customizable. Now, one of the things that everyone uses is this quick tools page to quickly change the brightness, use these toggles, and this quick tools page is now more refined to be in line with One UI 4 and it also supports the colors from the wallpaper theming feature. Now, this is cool, but there are a couple of new actions in gestures. There's move screen, which moves the entire screen around and magnifies it through a small circle. It's a little confusing, but what's useful is this keyboard shortcuts option that lets you use a gesture to use a keyboard shortcut. Let me show you. So I have set the diagonal up gesture to use keyboard shortcuts. So in Chrome, I can do this gesture to get these shortcuts to open a new tab, close tab, go to previous tab, switch tabs. Yeah, this is good. But you can also customize the keyboard shortcuts to only have one of these. So I've set it to open a new tab and I can just do this gesture and it opens up a new tab. Let me do it again. Yeah, I think this is super handy and it works in Chrome, YouTube, Samsung's browser, and you can add any app you want here. Hit like below if you think this feature is really cool. Moving on to the next one, there's Sound Assistant. This lets you customize the whole volume panel, set volumes for apps individually, change tracks with the volume button. Yeah, this is feature packed, but this year it's kind of getting fun. The new feature in Sound Assistant is the voice changer feature. So basically you have all these different voice effects. Let me try it out. Like this video right now. 
Like this video right now. Like this video right now. Like this video right now. So the effects are kind of okay, honestly, not very good. But another new feature in Sound Assistant is the ability to customize the volume panel in Dex mode. Now, apart from these major updates, a lot of other modules have gotten a few features. Keys Cafe, the super cool module with these really cool keyboard effects, now lets you create your own stickers. Just add anything from the gallery and it will show up in the stickers section of the Samsung keyboard. Clock Phase, the module to customize the AOD and the lock screen clock, will now be able to sync the clock on the phone with the Galaxy Watch. It's not currently working for me right now, but it should be a cool feature to use. Multistar module is also getting a lot better. In fact, it's bringing a launcher to the Galaxy Z Flip 3's cover screen. So you can run media apps, maps on the cover screen. We don't have the Z Flip 3 with us, otherwise this would have been a cool feature to check. Anyway, so that was good luck 2022 and you know what, the new features are just insanely good. The vertical app drawer is something I've always wanted. The delete button in the screenshot toolbar is just super useful. The option to set gestures to keyboard shortcuts is a great new feature. I mean, Good Lock is basically a voluntary project by Samsung developers who work on these new features in their spare time. So it's amazing to see how far it has come with all of its features. If you ask me, it definitely makes the One UI experience a lot better. Honestly, if you haven't tried out Good Lock, you're missing out on a lot. So make sure to try it and let us know which new feature this year you like the most. Comment down below. Also, give this video a like because, you know, likes are something we really like. So like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Also hit the bell icon. Do it. This is the Galaxy S22 Ultra and it costs 1,10,000 rupees. So let's see.